So Borderlands 2 has a number of unique weapons that have the ability to speak. You have guns like the 1340 shotgun, which will talk depending on what activities you perform, or you have other weapons like the Morningstar, which seem to just constantly nag you. However, there is one gun in Borderlands 2 that doesn't talk so much as it does scream while the player is using it, and that is the Bane SMG. The Bane is a fairly infamous gun in the community and is considered in-game to be a cursed weapon due to the fact that the player that wields it begins to move slowly. And while you do get a fairly powerful weapon with high magazine size in exchange for that slow movement speed, some people may wonder if that trade-off is really worth it. After all, 99.9999% of the other weapons in Borderlands 2 don't make the player move slower all of the time. So today, I figured I could give you guys my opinion on the Bane SMG and whether it's actually pretty good, whether it's terrible, or if it's just simply impractical. But without further ado, let's talk about the Bane's attributes a little bit more in depth. The Bane is one of four unique SMGs manufactured by Hyperion and is a quest reward that is received upon completion of the Bane side quest mission. And as far as its attributes are concerned, the Bane is special for a variety of reasons. As we just discussed, the Bane screams as you shoot it, however in terms of stats, the Bane is known for having high base damage and a high magazine size when compared to similar weapons. However, these two attributes come at a great cost as the Bane has very low starting accuracy for a Hyperion weapon and while the Bane is equipped, the player's movement speed is greatly decreased. The decreased movement speed in particular can prove to be troubling because you will have to switch weapons in order to move around at a reasonable pace. And even worse, percentage-based bonuses to movement speed don't appear to improve the player's movement speed while the Bane is equipped. So whenever you have this weapon in your hands, you're guaranteed to always move at the speed of molasses. Even still, compared to other unique Hyperion SMGs, the Bane usually has the largest magazine size provided you're comparing weapons with identical parts. The only unique Hyperion SMG in Borderlands 2 that has a higher base damage than the Bane is the Actualizer. And while the Actualizer is slightly more accurate, the Bane ultimately wins out when it comes to reload speed. Not to mention that the Bane has faster projectiles than the Actualizer does, ironically making the Bane slightly better for ranged combat, despite the Bane's poor accuracy. You may also be surprised to know that the Bane has higher base damage than the Legendary Bitch SMG, which is often considered to be the best unique Hyperion SMG of the four. And even though the Bitch has a far higher critical bonus compared to the Bane, the Bane can still slightly edge out the bitch with critical hits. However, with this said, the bitch is simply better because the bitch has the best accuracy, it reaches maximum accuracy much faster, and in general, the bitch is just a far more balanced weapon. And I also think you're going to be able to hit criticals more consistently with the bitch than you would be able to with the Bane. This of course leaves us with the Commerce SMG. Really, the only thing that the Commerce SMG does better than the Bane are reload speed and accuracy. However, the Commerce is eclipsed by the Bitch when it comes to the best maximum accuracy. And generally, everything else on the Commerce is worse than the Bane, especially when it comes to things like base damage and magazine size. And it's also worth mentioning that the Commerce is restricted to Shock Element, where all of the other unique Hyperion SMGs discussed thus far can come in any element. It's also worth pointing out that of the four Hyperion unique SMGs, the Bane is probably the easiest one to get as it is a quest reward weapon. And for that reason, I would say that you might as well go ahead and just get the Bane, which is something that I can't necessarily say for either the Commerce or the Actualizer. And that's not to say that the Commerce or Actualizer are bad weapons, they are just simply outclassed by the Bitch, which is going to be your go-to Hyperion SMG to acquire at much higher levels. Of course, you may be wondering why this isn't the Bane. And that's because of the four weapons, the Bane has the most pronounced disadvantages. 
It's the least accurate of the four, and the reduced movement speed can definitely present some problems for the player that's trying to use it. However, I do think that some of the Bane's disadvantages can be tamed to varying degrees. One of the disadvantages that you can sort of tame is the Bane's accuracy and its ability to reach maximum accuracy. And while the Bane won't ever be quite as accurate as the other Hyperion SMGs that I've mentioned, bonuses to recoil reduction and fire rate can make the Bane much more manageable to use. And while you will still expend a fair amount of ammo this way, you can at least get the time that it takes to achieve maximum accuracy much lower. Of all of the Vault Hunters, Axton in particular can can both increase fire rate and reduce recoil through his Metal Storm skill. And while this requires you to get a kill before the effects go active, the effects do make the Bane a little bit easier to use. Alternatively, you could also use the Bane on Salvador, and while you won't be able to decrease recoil to quite the same degree as Axton, especially when Axton has some class mods, Salvador can achieve some fairly high recoil reduction through Steady as she goes, and you have access to some decent fire rate boosts through skills like Keep Firing, Locked and Loaded, or Lay Waste. However, the best part about playing Salvador is that you also have the ability of being able to regenerate any potential lost ammo through Gunzerking and through the use of a Hoarder class mod. As for movement speed, there isn't really much you can do about this. While you could get in the back of a bandit technical and move quickly with the Bane equipped, the low starting accuracy of the Bane is going to make it really difficult to hit anything. Plus, you have to rely on the person that's driving the technical, which will also end up throwing off your aim. And while I suppose you can just swap weapons to regain your movement speed, this can be unintuitive while you're in the middle of combat. With all of this said, I do have to admit that the movement speed penalty is what makes the Bane really difficult to use. No other weapon in the game really has this problem, and while the Fabled Tortoise can reduce movement speed, it's not really crippling enough to make you avoid using the shield. And while there are ways to disable the movement speed penalty, there are not in-game mechanics that will allow you to remove the movement speed penalty. So, you're pretty much stuck with slow movement speed, regardless of what you do. The final disadvantage, depending on your point of view, is the Bane's utterly obnoxious screaming as you use it. I've found that this can be really difficult to deal with, simply because the Bane's screaming isn't affected by in-game volume controls. So, even if you turn down all these sound controls, the Bane will still be incredibly loud. In fact, the only real way to mute the Bane without mods is to mute Borderlands 2 itself, and this is obviously something that you don't want to do, as the audio tends to make the game far more immersive, and audio cues can make the game far easier to play. So, ultimately, turning off the audio is a no-go if you ask me. As an aside, though, while there isn't really an official way to fix the Bane on the console versions, there is a community patch mod that fixes the Bane by removing both its movement speed penalty and the obnoxious screaming voice. And this mod was put together by GitHub user Arudian, and I have to say that the mod works quite well as it removes both the Bane's more undesirable attributes while mostly preserving the weapon's other characteristics like its high base damage, the high magazine size, and its kind of questionable accuracy. This is a pretty great mod, and as long as you have set up Borderlands 2 to run the community patch, all you have to do is create a text file and simply run the mod. And while it's unfortunate that console users can't take advantage of this mod, provided that you do have the PC version of Borderlands 2, you can fix the more aggravating aspects of the Bane SM. MG. So to answer the question posed in this video's title, is the Bane SMG a good weapon? Well, I would say that the Bane is a weapon that has potential. As stated previously, Salvador can actually make pretty good use of it, provided that you've got a Grok nozzle and you have a lot of ammo regeneration. However, the issue with the Bane is that it's simply not practical in most situations, due in large part to the movement speed penalty. While you could say that the impracticality of the Bane makes it bad, the Bane is actually pretty decent on Salvador. 
In fact, because of Salvador's abilities, he has a tendency to make impractical weapons more practical. And as an example, the chopper assault rifle usually consumes too much ammo and doesn't deal enough damage to justify the ammo cost. However, in the hands of Salvador, you can counter that ammo cost by ammo regeneration through Salvador's gun zerking ability and through the Hoarder class mod. And in the case of the Bane SMG, you can offset a lot of the problems that the Bane might have with defense because of the decreased movement speed. After all, you don't really need to dodge while you're dual wielding the Bane with a Grog Nozzle. If you're wondering if you should get the Bane or not, I would go ahead and recommend that you get one. After all, the Bane is a quest reward weapon and doesn't really require you to do anything that's insanely hard. Granted, the Bane side quest is fairly involved, but I wouldn't say it's nerve-wracking like you might see with some of Borderlands 2's escort quests or some of its timed delivery quests. Still, I think if you manage to get a Bane, you'll really only use it a couple of times or in special situations. And that's because it lacks the versatility of the vast majority of other weapons that you can get in Borderlands 2. But at this same time, provided that you have the right build setup and weapon combination, the Bane actually works fairly well. And at the very least, I would say that the Bane is a gun that you should certainly experience once just for novelty's sake. But alright guys, I think that's going to wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like and let me know what you think about the Bane in the comments section below. Do you think it's good? Do you think it's terrible? Or do you just not really have an opinion? Otherwise, leave that in the comments, click the bell to join the notification squad, and as always, take care, and I'll see you all next time.